your famous line about Springfield, Ohio, and I, I take your point that 15 to 20,000 legal Haitian immigrants settling in that area causes a lot of friction. But when you said, you know, it's gone viral, they're, they're eating the dogs, they're eating the cats, you say you're just reporting what had been said. But why not say now, well, look, that turned out not to be true. I don't know if it's not true. I don't know if it's true or not true. I read Eating something. The pets, you don't know if it's true or not true. No. It's been debunked by well, the Well, the What about the goose, the geese? What about the geese? What happened there? They, yeah. they were all missing. I there was know. one person yeah, with Howie, two Howie, geese. Howie. I have no idea. I said something. Those things. Your famous line about Springfield, Ohio, and I, I take your point that 15 to 20,000 legal Haitian immigrants settling in that area causes a lot of friction. But when you said, you know, it's gone viral, they're, they're eating the dogs, they're eating the cats. You say you're just reporting what had been said. But why not say now, well, look, that turned out not to be true. I don't know Here's if it's not true. I don't know if it's true or not true. I read eating something. The pets, you don't know if it's true or not true. It's been debunked by well, the Well, what about the goose, the geese? What about the geese? What happened there? They were, they were all missing. I there was know. one Listen, guy with Howie, two Howie, geese. Howie. I have no idea. I said something. The what about the geese? Trump ignores live Fox News fact check on Haitian immigrants. In a Fox News interview, the former president refused to back down from his racist smears against Haitians. Former President Donald Trump was confronted on his repeated lies about Haitian immigrants in Ohio in a Fox News interview on Sunday. Media Buzz, host Howard Kurtz asked the ex-president why he wouldn't acknowledge that Haitians in Springfield, Ohio weren't, eating the pets of the people that live there, as he famously suggested in a September debate. I don't know if it's true or not true, Trump responded. What about the geese? What happened there with the geese? What happened there? They're all missing, Trump said. I have no idea, I said something, the big problem is that you can't put 30,000 people into a 50,000 person town or city and expect this city to even survive or do well. Fox host, you said, they're eating the dogs, they're eating the cats. That turned out not to be true. Trump, I don't know if it's true or not. Fox host, you don't know. It's been debunked. Trump, what about the goose, the geese? The lie that Haitian immigrants in Ohio are eating local pets was signal boosted into the Trump campaign by Trump's running mate J.D. Vance. He has refused to back away from the story even as it's been debunked by local police and the city's mayor. Vance has gone on to say that he was creating a story to get at the larger issue. The American media totally ignored this stuff until Donald Trump and I started talking about cat memes. If I have to, if I have to create stories so that the American media actually pays attention to the suffering of the American people, then that's what I'm going to do. You just said that you're creating the story. What's that, Dana? You just said that this is a story that you've yes. created. So, so the the eating dogs we and cats thing is we, not. We are accurate. creating. We are. Dana, it comes from first-hand accounts from my constituents. I say that we're creating a story, meaning we're creating the American media focusing on it. Trump's anti-immigrant rhetoric, centered around a promise for mass deportation, continues. In a Wednesday town hall, the ex-president once again claimed Haitians were eating other things, too, that they are not supposed to be. Defending those comments on Sunday, Trump said he still wasn't convinced his initial claims weren't true. I don't think it's been debunked at all. I think nobody talks about it, except you, he told Kurtz. Donald Trump reportedly made a remark about golf legend Arnold Palmer's penis during a 2017 visit to one of Trump's golf courses. According to a Washington Post report, Trump was speaking to a group of people at the club when he shared a story about Palmer. The report alleges that Trump mentioned Palmer's penis in a crude way while discussing Palmer's virility or masculinity. The remark was considered inappropriate by those present and was noted as one of several offhanded comments Trump has made. This incident has been mentioned in various media outlets. During Trump's rally Saturday, the Republican nominee also described opponent Harris as A.S. Vice President. Both candidates and their surrogates have been campaigning heavily in Pennsylvania in the closing weeks of the election. By Seema Mehta, staff writer, follow, October 2024 updated 4.10 p.m. Pacific Time. Both candidates and their surrogates have been campaigning heavily in Pennsylvania in the closing weeks of the election. 
Former President Trump highlighted the size of the late golf legend Arnold Palmer's genitalia during a rally Saturday evening in Pennsylvania, a critical battleground state that will be decisive in determining which party wins the White House in a little more than two weeks. The rally took place in Latrobe, Pa, the birthplace of Palmer, who is widely regarded as one of the greatest golfers of all time and who died in 2016 at age 87. Although it is common for political candidates to name Czech hometown heroes during their travels, Trump's focus on Palmer's genitalia was peculiar. Arnold Palmer was all man. And I say that in all due respect to women, and I love women. But this guy, this guy, this is a guy that was all man, Trump told cheering supporters at a rally at a regional airport named after Palmer. This man was strong and tough. And I refuse to say it, but when he took showers with the other pros, they came out of there, they said, oh my God, that's unbelievable. Quote, the campaign of Trump's rival, Vice President Kamala Harris, mocked the former president's comment. Trump's Pennsylvania closing argument is literal junk, Harris's campaign said in a statement. In a Pennsylvania rally speech his campaign team billed as the beginning of his closing argument in the final stretch, Donald Trump focused on the issue most important to voters in this election, a deceased golfer's anatomy. During the rally Saturday, the former president also described Harris as A.S. Vice President, while urging his supporters to vote in a state that has the most electoral votes of any battleground state in the nation. Asked about the comment by the Rev. Al Sharpton on MSNBC, Harris responded, the American people deserve so much better. The President of the United States must set a standard, not only for our nation but understanding the standard that we as a nation must set for the world. Representing the United States of America walk into rooms around the world with the earned and self-appointed authority to talk about the importance of democracy, rule of law, and have been thought of as a role model of what it means to be committed to certain standards, including international rules and norms, but also standards of decorum. One of Trump's senior advisors told reporters before Saturday's rally that the former president would use his appearance in Latrobe to begin introducing his final message to voters ahead of the November 5th election. An average of recent Pennsylvania polling has Trump leading by less than one percentage point, according to Real Clear Politics, and both candidates and their surrogates have been campaigning heavily in the Commonwealth in the closing weeks of the election. It's not the first time Trump has referenced penis size while campaigning. In 2016, Sen. Marco Rubio of Florida responded to Trump dubbing him, Little Marco, because of his height by mocking the size of Trump's hands. Noting that Trump was taller than him, I don't understand why his hands are the size of someone who is 5 to 2, Rubio said during a rally. And you know what they say about men with small hands. You can't trust them. Trump responded at a March 2016 debate by raising his hands and spreading his fingers for viewers to see. Look at those hands, are they small hands? He said. And, he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee. Harris, meanwhile, campaigned in Detroit and Atlanta on Saturday, major cities in two other critical states in the November election. At an evening rally in Georgia, the vice president spoke about Trump's role in overturning the federal right to abortion and the death of Amber Nicole Thurman. The 28-year-old single mother died after a delayed routine surgical procedure at a suburban Atlanta hospital after a rare post-abortion complication, according to ProPublica. The delayed care occurred in the aftermath of a new state law that criminalized performing the procedure to remove fetal tissue from the uterus with few exceptions, legislation that reproductive rights advocates said could scare away doctors from performing the surgery for fear of prosecution. Donald Trump still refuses to take accountability, to take any accountability, for the pain and the suffering he has caused, or even to just acknowledge the pain and suffering that has actually happened. In a Fox News town hall last week, he even mocked Thurman's family for sharing their story, Harris said at the rally, before showing footage of Trump talking about a news conference Thurman's family and Democratic politicians held before the former president spoke at the town hall last week focused on female voters. Oh. That's nice, Trump told Fox News host Harris Faulkner. We'll get better ratings, I promise. Harris described Trump's response as demonstrative of the Republicans' core values. What we see continually from Donald Trump is exactly what that clip shows, she said. He belittles their sorrow, making it about himself and his television ratings. It is cruel. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest content. We've got plenty more exciting videos coming your way, and you won't want to miss them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.